Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everybody and welcome to the class once again. I hope that by now you are all very comfortable with the language, with the script. Though I understand, though I do know that it is a little difficult with kanji, with katakana and with hiragana. Initially it is a little difficult, but once you get used to the script, once you get used to watching, used to seeing the kanji characters, it is easy, you can memorize them and I hope you are more comfortable now speaking Japanese. So well, as we always do something new in our lessons, well today also we will do something new, how to show preference for a certain thing or how to show that a certain thing is better than or greater than something else, basically comparisons. We will do that, also some new kanji characters, new kotowaza proverbs which are very very essential for any language and lot of vocabulary. So before doing all this, we will as we always do, we will go over our assignments and let us see what the assignment is. Well, was a listening comprehension and there are lot of new things in this. I will go through the exercise. The listening comprehension is later. Well, ano rao san nodo ga kawakimashita, nani ka nomitai desu. Nodo is throat, kawakimashita is dry, my throat is dry. Kawaku means to dry up, you can use it for clothes as well. Fuku ga kawakimashita. Then, kocha o nomimashou ka? Shall we have kocha? Watashi wa tsukurikata ga wakarimasen. Dou yatte kocha o tsukurimasu ka? Well, oshiete kudasai. Tsukurikata is way of making. We will do this a little later. Kantan desu yo. Mazu, first of all. Nabe ni mizu o irete kudasai. Jukpun gurai, approximately for 10 minutes. Jukpun gurai mizu o wakashite kudasai is to boil. Then jukpun ato, after 10 minutes, nabe ni, nabe is a pan, nabe ni kocha no hapa mo irete kudasai. Hapa is leaves, kocha is tea, kudasai. Sore kara and after that, koppu ni in the cup, sato to milk o irete kudasai or koppu ni sato to milk o irete. You have done this day form irete after putting sato and sato is sugar and milk in the cup, skutta kocha o koppu ni Irete kudasai. Saigo ni in the end spoon de kocha o mazete kudasai. Please mix. Sore de wa. Finally, in the end, now kocha ga deki agari mashita. So, any of these can be used now, then, well, in the end, kocha ga deki agari mashita. It is made. Dozo, meshi agatte kudasai, please have. Ah, ii kimochi desu, kocha wa oishi desu ne. Ii kimochi is, it is a good feeling, I feel very nice, it is very very tasty. So well, this was your listening comprehension. The comprehension is given over here for you to go over it. 
there are lot of new words doyatte tsukurikata mazu sore kara sore dewa and kimochi doyatte is how how meaning what is the method in what manner what way for example you can also use doyatte for class kara uchi made doyatte ikimasu ka how do you go from the class to your house or koko kara gate made koko kara uchi made koko kara departo made doyatte ikimasu ka what is the method how do you go for example from here you go straight then you turn left you take a taxi or you take a bus you are on the bus for 10 minutes then you reach your destination so this is how doyatte is to be used what is the method you take or how do you go how do you do a certain activity then this can also be said as kocha no tsukuri kata ga wakara nai tsukuri kata tsukuri mas is to tsukuri mas is to make and remove the mas from here and put kata method of tsukuri kata the method of making you can also use this kata for other verbs like yomi mas nomi mas hanashi mas remove the mas and put kata over here way of reading way of drinking or method or way of talking so kata can be used like this freely it's a nice word and easy to remember so well kocha no tsukuri kata ga wakara nai i do not know how to make kocha so what does b say b says kantan desu yo it's very very easy mazu mazu is mazu first and foremost when you are trying to tell something when you are talking about something first primarily first of all then the word mazu is used the first thing that you do is well this is how you have to go ahead so mazu kore o shite kudasai mazu koyu fu ni shite kudasai so that time mazu is to be used kantan desu yo mazu first of all nabe ni mizu o irete kudasai 10 fun gurai now you have done goro goro and gurai we have done it once once again for you very quickly goro is approximate time juichi ji goro juichi ji goro watashi wa tomodachi ni aimasu around 11 o'clock 5 minutes plus 5 minutes minus goro but gurai is jukun gurai for about 10 minutes approximately for 10 minutes this generally gurai shows frequency shows amount so it is a little different from goro goro is only used for time then we have jukun ato nabe ni kocha no hapa mo irete kudasai sore kara and after that and then koppni kop is that is the pronunciation please that is the hatsuon koppni sato to milk o irete kudasai you have done to which means and tsukutta kocha o irete kudasai saigo ni in the end saigo means lastly finally saigo ni spoon de mazete kudasai それでは well or now 
コチャが出来上がりました。ファイナリー、コチャが出来上がりました。It is already made. どうぞ飲んでください。気持ちいいです。Feeling over here. So, I hope it is very clear. We will practice now. As you can see, Sorekara is a conjunction and used in the beginning to connect to the previous sentence. It means and after that and then in addition to in English. For example, Tomodachi ni aimas, kaimono o shimas, sorekara ega o mimas. So I will, I will meet my friend, do some shopping, and finally after that, watch a movie or a film. So that's what sorekara is. This is how it is to be used. Kata, of course, I explained just now. When added to the stem of the verb, It indicates manner or method of doing an activity or performing an activity. For example, yomi kata. So, kanji no yomi kata o. Kanji no yomi kata o oshiete kudasai. Please tell me how this kanji is to be. Read or kanji no kaki kata o oshiete kudasai. So you can you can sort of use kata in this manner. Well, we have done hoshi in our previous lesson and we also did suki with it. If you remember, hoshi means I want something. I want something. And suki, as you remember, we did I like something. Thing. So, well, these are two different things. Today we will do suki. Suki means I like. I like ice cream. So, you can tell what you like. We did it very quickly in our previous lesson. Well, we will do it in detail now. There is a small kaiwa for you. Just listen to it. It's very simple. Rao san, ice tea o nomimasu ka? Kocha o nomimasu ka? Watashi wa mainichi uchi de kocha o nomu kara ice tea no hou ga ii desu. Tanaka san wa? Watashi wa kocha ga suki desu kara kocha o nomimasu. Shokudo de. Rao san, ice tea o nomimasu ka? Kocha o nomimasu ka? 私は毎日うちで紅茶を飲むからアイスティーの方がいいです。田中さんは、and you just leave it incomplete with a rising intonation。私は紅茶が好きですから紅茶を飲みます。So well, there is a new word over here, の方が。And also, we will practice something else which is for comparison. So let us see. This is in the script over here. i c e t is there, katakana, rao san, there is hiragana, and of course, there is kanji for you. There is this explanation of the kaiwa. It is not a translation, but what you would say in English. So, I'll、well, read it in that manner. Now, suki, as I told you, can be roughly translated to like as is given over here. But one thing that is important with suki is that it will always come with particle ga. There are a lot of explanations for this. There is a lot of grammar, of course, involved, as is there in any language. But the simple explanation for you for the time being is that you are stating something you. No, something very, very emphatically, you are putting stress on it, you are stating a fact, thus, suki will always take particle ka. Please remember that. There are other words also with suki. Suki means like and kirai means dislike. You have also done hoshi, which takes ga. You have also done ga with. Arimas. 
and so many others. We have done ga in a lot of ways over here. Today we will do this one. So, well, noun 1 wa, noun 2 ga suki desu. E san wa something ga suki desu. Please remember that it is given over here. Tanaka san wa keiki ga suki desu. Tanaka san likes cakes. And watashi wa ice cream ga suki desu. I like ice cream. You can practice this over here with your partner that is A san and B san. A san says Rao san wa ongaku ga suki desu ka? This is a question with ka. Hai ongaku ga suki desu. That is a positive answer with this or you could also say ie ongaku ga suki dewa arimasen as you have already done earlier. Kore wa hon desu, kore wa hon dewa arimasen or you could also use ie ongaku ga kirai desu, direct answer. You can replace ongaku with ryoko, ongaku of course is there, ega nihon ryori, ega is pictures, nihon ryori is Japanese cuisine and ryoko is a vacation, traveling is ryoko. So, Rao san wa nihon ryori ga suki desu ka? Hai, watashi wa nihon ryori ga suki desu or iie watashi wa nihon ryori ga kirai desu. So, you can practice like this, ask and then answer. See this practice is very important because you get used to the words, you can think fast and you can say whatever you want easily without all the time translating what is there in your mind. So, please these, these small conversations are extremely important for you to practice with your partner. Then we have another word over here which is a question word, donna. Donna. Donna means, as I told you earlier, what type of. So, well, Rao san wa donna sports ga suki desu ka? You can, of course, for sports, it is a group. So, you can use donna kudamono ga suki desu ka? Donna yasai ga suki desu ka? Donna ega ga suki desu ka? Any of these things you can put instead of sports. Sports is a group. So, watashi wa yakyu ga suki desu. Yakyu is baseball which is a very very popular sport in Japan and they really enjoy yakyu like we enjoy cricket here in India. So, watashi wa yakyu ga suki desu or suki de wa arimasen or as we did another word in our previous slide kirai desu. So, instead of Yakyu, you can say ping pong, which is table tennis, kriketto, which is cricket as we all know, football, football, and then rugby, which is rugby or American football. So, you can practice these with your partner, use donna and try to ask these questions and answer. Now, what we are going to do now is what actually we are supposed to do today. This is yori. Yori. Now, what does it say over here in your slide? Yori, as you can see, is a particle which shows comparison between two things, two objects or two people, and it also shows preference. For example, when we do the do the exercise, you will see yourself over here it is given noun 1 wa, noun 2 yori, whatever the adjective. So, well, A wa, B yori, O ki des.
この映画はその映画より面白いです。面白いです。So、you can put any adjective over here. リンゴはみかんよりおいしいです。おいしいです。リンゴは、you can see、みかんよりおいしいです。A さんは、B さんより強いです。トラは、牛より強いです。So、A は B より、adjective as is given over here、noun1 は、noun2 より、whatever the adjective. In the example over here, it is given Delhi wa Kanpur yori oki desu. Delhi is bigger than Kanpur, more or more than or greater than. So, basically, you are comparing Delhi is larger than Kanpur or bigger than Kanpur. Nihongo wa France go yori muzukashi desu. Japanese is more difficult than French. And hiragana wa kanji yori kantan desu. So, you can use it like this. Kocha wa kohi yori oishi desu. Or the other way around, kohi wa kocha yori oishi desu. Whichever you prefer. Milk wa kocha yori oishi desu. Milk is better than or more tastier than kocha. So, well, you can practice now. We did Sports a little while ago. So well, Rao san wa yakyu yori pingpong ga ski desu ka? A question over here. You can also remove this ka from here and just make it a statement Rao san wa yakyu yori pingpong ga ski desu. A statement. Put a ka over there, ask a question and get a reply, get an answer and you can have a small dialogue. はい、ピンポンが好きです。Or, いいえ、ピンポンが好きではありません。In a similar manner, you can replace these two with words given over here. クリケット、フットボール、テニス、ラグビー、and バドミントン。So, that's how you can practice. Say it like that. It's easy. Then we have, you have done this form A desu ka, B desu ka. So over here you have Rao san wa miruku ga suki desu ka, kocha ga suki desu ka, which of the two? Watashi wa miruku yori kocha ga suki desu. I prefer kocha over milk. Watashi wa miruku yori Kocha ga suki desu, meaning you like kocha. I like kocha over milk or kocha more than, greater than, more than milk. So that's how you can practice. You can do this pattern which you have done earlier in one of your earlier lessons and you can have a small dialogue. There is a picture, kocha. Ocha, which is green tea, let us see what it is. Kocha yori ocha ga suki desu, a statement. Tanaka san, kocha yori ocha ga suki desu ka? Um, hai, so desu. Kocha yori ocha ga suki desu. Demo, Rao san wa ocha yori kocha ga suki desu. So, well, you can practice like this. Then we have ice cream and cake. So, let us see what it is. アイスクリームよりケーキが好きです。いいえ、私はアイスクリームが好きです。私はケーキよりアイスクリームが好きです。So whichever you want, you can use. And then we have juice and coffee over here. Well, Tanaka さんはジュースよりコーヒーが好きです。子供はコーヒーよりジュースが好きです。大人、アダルトはジュースより
kohi ga suki desu. So, this is how you can practice your yori. There is more practice for yori as it is a new word. There is a picture you see Tanaka san eating ice cream and Rao san taking his dog for a walk or the other way round. Rao san ice cream ga suki desu ne. So, Tanaka san over here he is taking his dog for a walk and this is Rao san as the name Rao comes over here. So, well Rao san you like ice cream simple. Hai daisuki desu. Daisuki is very very much. I like it very very much. Dai suki. Then we have another picture for you which is Shinkansen and Hikoki. So, well Shinkansen yori Hikoki ga hayai desu. It is a statement, a fact. So, this ne, you agree with what the person is saying by using ne over here, a statement and you confirm it. Then another picture with Tanaka san or Kodomo talking on the phone, what is it? Kodomo wa benkyo suru yori, tomodachi to Hanashi ga suki desu. Kodomo. Till now we have done nouns. Over here you will see there is a verb. Benkyo suru. So, before yori, if verb is to be used, it is going to be used in plain form. Kodomo wa benkyo suru yori. Tomodachi to hanashi ga suki des children like talking to friends more than studying that's what it means so well that's how it is now we have a new word for you new comparison again the same picture and well shinkansen yori Hikoki ga hayai desu. So, desu ne, that is a fact. Now, you can say the same thing in another way. And what is that? Well, one is yori, shinkansen wa A wa B yori hayai desu. Shinkansen yori. Hikoki ga hayai desu. That is right. Also, you can say instead of this, instead of yori, you can just simply say B wa hayai desu, or whichever way it is being phrased, A wa hayai des simple a is faster or b is faster or you can also say a no ho ga hayai des now there is not much that can be said about no ho ga there is not too much of explanation as such for no hoga, but you could simply say A is faster than B or A is simply just say A is faster, no hoga. You can see over here in the practice once you use it, then you will feel more comfortable. There is this picture again over here Shinkansen and Hikoki. So, well the first one says Shinkansen yori hikoki ga hayai desu or hikoki ga hayai desu. Now, what do we have in the second picture? Hikoki no hou ga shinkansen yori hayai desu or hikoki no hou ga you can even cut out the shinkansen and yori and say hayai desu a statement. You know you show your preference, you show 
that this is above this by using no ho ga. Mochiron so desu ne. Mochiron of course is of course, as we all know, as it is known. Mochiron, of course, very very emphatically. That's so obvious. A no ho ga hayai desu, or B no ho ga hayai desu. A simple statement. If you just look at these two chalk pieces over here in my hand, well, this is long and this is a little short or small. So, well, A wa B yori nagai desu, okay. or simple answer A wa nagai desu, or I could also say when I compare these two. I say A no ho ga nagai desu. Simple, I just simply state this A is bigger than or longer than B, or I could also say A wa B yori nagai desu. It is long. That is how no ho ga, no ho ga, and yori both are used. Now, what do we have next? Let us see. Over here, no hoga is given. Deri no hoga, kanpur yori oki desu. Nihongo no hoga, France go yori muzukashi desu. Kanji no hoga, hiragana yori muzukashi desu. So, that is how no hoga is used. Basically, is. Now, we do expressions all the time. We did this last time as well. Let us see what we have now for you. Ara, oji san taoremashita, taskete agenai to. So, this person over here is thinking if I do not help him, then he is going to be in trouble. Taskete agenai, agemas is to give. So, taskete if I do not help him, then he is going to be in trouble. So, he goes up to oji san and that is a person who is shinsetsu, shinsetsu na hito desu. Tanaka san wa shinsetsu na hito desu. He is very very shinsetsu, very kind. So, he goes up over here, oji san daijobu desu ka? Are you all right? Daijobu desu ka? All this we have done. Now, what happens? Ki o tsukete kudasai. Please take care. Ki o tsukete kudasai. So, this is a phrase meaning please take care. It is pronounced and said as kyo tsukete kudasai. Simply kyo tsukete kudasai very very fast, but it is written as ki o tsukete kudasai. Please remember it is said very fast kyo tsukete kudasai. It sounds like kyo which is today but it is not so. It means ki o tsukete kudasai. Please take care of yourself. And instead of saying arigato gozaimasu, the whole thing domo arigato gozaimasu, you can also say just domo because this gentleman is younger to you and he is much older. So, he can also say just domo and also domo is used by males more than by ladies. Then, Rao san wa byoki desu and Tanaka san comes to meet him. So, he has come to meet a sick person. What is he going to say? He meets him, he's, he sort of expresses his concern and then he is leaving. His time is over in the bioing. The meeting hours are over and then before leaving, what does he say? Rao san o daiji ni. O daiji ni is a typical phrase which is used when you leave people who are sick to take care of themselves. O daiji ni. And then karada ni ki o tsukete kudasai. Please take care of yourself. Karada is body, but over here it means yourself. And ki o tsukete kudasai, as I just told you over here, is Please be careful. 
Once again, Rao san odai ji ni karada ni kiyo tsukete kudasai. These are two expressions. You can use these and you will feel more confident. Now, as I always do, we will do kanji. There is this kanji character, annai suru. Well, you have done this uh, kanji character earlier. Onna no hito. Hito. Now, look at this character and find out where onna no hito is. This is made out of onna no hito and ki as you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. So, this is made like this. Anai shimas. She mas. This is just an of an nai an an of an nai. And you can see over here nai is also given. Nai actually means inside and it is with hito. You can see like this, like this and like this nai. An nai shimas. I will make it once again for you. An nai. Anai shi mas. Anai suru to guide. Well, the next character is suki. You have done this onna no hito earlier, and we just need to put a ko over here, which is a kodomo like this. This character means Kodomo, onna no hito and ko means ski. Mothers like their children very much. That is how this character has come into being. Onna no hito and kodomo means suki. So, this is what it is. You can see how annai has come into being. Number of strokes are here. You can practice this. Now, we always do kotowaza, one new kotowaza every day. Well, today there is a very nice proverb and it also tells you about the Japanese people, how they think, how they act. You can see nana korobi ya oki, meaning literal translation is to fall seven times, to rise eight times basically meaning that well, whenever you start to do something, whenever in life, there are lots of ups and downs, time never remains the same, but well, even if you fall, you are supposed to get up, you are supposed to fight back again, you are never supposed to lose hope. So, this tells you about the Japanese people that come what may, whatever happens, you may not succeed all the time. There are lot of, lot of difficulties, but still you have to keep trying. You have to keep going ahead. You cannot stop. You fall, you get up, you try again, never be disheartened and just keep going forward. Well, we can also use this for our Japanese. We know Japanese is a tough language. We know kanji is tough. But still, we will learn and we will try to speak in Japanese. You will make mistakes, we will make mistakes, we will spell it incorrectly, we will write it incorrectly, but still from there we will go ahead and not feel disheartened. That is what this proverb says, just keep trying hard and finally you will succeed. If you do not succeed once, try again. So, well, this is the proverb. And then we have katakana, of course, the ya series. Ya, 
then you have u, we have just 3 over here, you have done it in hiragana, ya u and then we have yo. So, now you have it right here for you, ya, u and yo. We do not have the two, yi and ye. It is similar to the vowels e and a, thus it is not used. Now is the vocabulary, you can see there is lot of vocabulary. Go over the vocabulary, learn the words, there are lot of new verbs over here, learn those, try to use them. And in the end today, we have some assignments for you, as I always give lot of assignments, practice that will make you very comfortable, you will feel confident and that is the reason we have these assignments for you. Well, there is kanji, then you have kanji again, choose the correct kanji, you are supposed to recognize. So, well, what do you say in these situations? These are expressions, try to write the correct expression. So, well, now in the end, you have your listening comprehension. Just listen to this very carefully and then the exercise is there. You have to do that exercise. So, this is a conversation between A and B. Let us see what the conversation is. Rao san wa Natsuya sumi ni pari e ikimashita. Tanaka san to Rao san wa ima pari no hanashi o shite imasu. France no shuto wa nan desu ka? Pari desu. Pari wa donna machi desu ka? Nigiyaka de kirei na machi desu yo. Pari ni nani ga arimasu ka? Kawa ya ohashi ya shiro ga arimasu. Soshite furui tatemono mo takusan arimasu yo. Omoshiroi tokoro mo takusan arimasu ka? Mochiron arimasu yo. Yume na bijitsu kan ya yuenchi nado ga arimasu. Tabemono ni nani ga oishi desu ka? Keiki ga totte mo oishi desu. Tanaka san zehi ichido pari e itte kudasai. So well, listen to it very carefully and then answer the questions that are given here. We will do some things that have been left out through these conversations. This ends your lesson for today. There is something written here, sore de wa minasan, kyo wa kore de owarimasu. So well, I will explain this to you next time, but once again, sore de wa minasan, kyo wa Kore de so, minasan, mata ashita aimashou. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you.